You're fresh out of college. You have no idea what you're talking about. Good morning. It is Monday and it's August 14th. So it is my first official day back at work for the 2017-18 school year. And I must admit that I was a little bit nervous last night and even this morning like I have the first day jitters as a teacher and I really don't know why like it's not like I'm going to be teaching today it's not like the students are going to be there I'm just going to be with teacher people and we're having professional development so I will attempt to take you around as often as I can um, because I know y'all want to know what happens the two weeks before school like why are teachers at work two weeks before school starts I didn't eat breakfast this morning this thing has been in my purse for like I don't know because it's crunchy like it's, it's it's not completely broken but it's broken it's been smooth selling for the last about 10 minutes but I feel like I'm coming up on the traffic because every year this is where the traffic starts. I should have left earlier, but I'm telling you my nerves, I think have gotten the best of me. You know, it's a new year, it's an exciting time. I'm in a new grade level. I'm going to, you know, see so many of the other teachers from the district and people I haven't seen for a year or whatever, you know. It's kind of similar to how students feel on the first day of school that initial excitement I am trying not to make some of you nervous if y'all don't know I was shown on CNN like I think a year or two ago for driving and vlogging and it almost made me stop making YouTube videos because I was a little offended actually not a little offended I was very offended that they used my content without my permission and make me look bad I almost stopped making YouTube videos so I don't want to like make y'all feel uncomfortable by like talking and looking at y'all while I'm driving so I'm at a stoplight right now my badge thing holder looks a mess and I'm pretty embarrassed to bring it today this is from last year and it's like the tape is like hanging off it just looks really dirty and I was like oh no and I tried to use my I do have, have like this pink one at home that I got from Dollar Tree and I attempted to put my badge in there but I didn't like the way it like I didn't like the way it looked so I'm gonna take that thing back to Dollar Tree the traffic has picked up as I said it would right at the same spot that it picks up at every year and this light takes forever Ooh, sun but I will um, I'll talk to y'all soon. I completely forgot to try to vlog while I was in there. I'm so sorry. I wasn't even thinking about it. I ended up coming in as the first session had already started. And so I was a little frazzled. I was about five minutes late. But they had already started to, you know, get on with the activities. So that was pretty cool. I noticed that. Texas has changed a lot of their teaks this year and something that I was really confused by is that in science in second grade we are not teaching the water cycle anymore students are not learning the water cycle until fourth grade which is crazy like I know it's an abstract con concept but I feel like it's going to be really weird not teaching the water cycle and I used to use this song this video when I was a fifth grade science teacher and it was a rap oh my goodness I love that rap and my students would love it and I would sing it and it was like the water cycle whoop, whoop. and all my students were singing whoop, whoop, all the time so I'm kind of bummed that we're not going to be teaching the water cycle but there are other changes that I guess Texas feels like our students are too young to handle for science so that was different so the first 
PD that I went to was pretty cool. It was introducing an escape room. I love the idea. It was pretty cool. And then uh, the second one was about notebooks and creating interactive notebooks. And that was really eye-opening because as a teacher, especially with younger students, you kind of have to model a lot and demonstrate, you know, your expectations with students. It was a different way to look at what notebooks really, really are. And if I am requiring students to copy down my information the way that I write it and I present it to them. It's really my learning. It's my notes, my reflections. And so we were kind of talking about stepping outside of that normal way of the teacher writes and the students copy. And I understand why it would be better to have students create their own notebooks because it's like it's their thoughts, their ideas. So when they go home and try to share what they learned with their parents it's like the picture that they drew that made sense to them it's those little words that made sense to them now this is going to be something that i'm going to have to demonstrate to students and help them see you know if this makes sense to you you can draw a picture or you can just write little words that really help you to remember like i'm excited to incorporate that my first part of the day was science and then after lunch it will be math so i didn't bring much for lunch today i just brought a sandwich and as i told y'all before i didn't eat breakfast I wasn't hungry, but inside of the sessions, I did eat my cereal bar. So I just have a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and I have some Doritos. I have the salsa verde, and they are pretty crunched up now. I also have some Ritz crackers, and I will probably eat these like in my afternoon sessions to kind of keep me up because after lunch, I get a little sleepy sometimes. And then I just have these few grapes because this is all the grapes that I had left in my refrigerator. My first day of professional development is over. And again, I forgot to talk to y'all while I was there. I have another souvenir because I did another escape room. This morning I did one for science and then in the afternoon I did one for math. And in both cases, my group was the first to be successful at escaping. So we had a lot of fun with that. I am going to head to my school right now and I don't know how long the campus is going to be open but I'll be there in about 15 minutes so even if I just get like an hour of work done I'll feel better about where I'm at because I do feel overwhelmed by how unorganized my room looks right now I'm all like sweaty and hot but in this in these 40 minutes I was able to get my table headings done and put my three lamps around the room I think I'm gonna move this lamp but so I have one lamp over there one lamp over here that I need to scoot over or maybe I'll just put it over here because I do have that table lamp now and then I have this lamp over here our lights randomly go off and I do like to work in a more relaxed dark setting so when the students come in I normally have the lights off and just the lamps on around my room and it kind of just calms them and I just like it dark too. So, um, of course, if we're doing other things, you know, I'll turn all the lights on. But I normally ask the students and they prefer the lights off. So, that is all I did. Oh, and my table headings are up here. So, you see all six tables here. One side is Bitmoji and the other side is a koala. Good morning. It is Tuesday and... I left later than I wanted to again and this morning I ended up going to Starbucks because I'm actually hungry so I got my what is this thing called um the double bacon cheese something that's delicious and I tried it for the first time on camera months ago and now I get it all the time and then I got my normal coffee and it's a grande cafe mocha today I'm wearing my fifth grade shirt so I pretty I figured this was the last time that I was going to be able to wear this fifth grade spirit shirt because it has the 2017 year on it which is one reason another reason is because I'm no longer a fifth grade teacher so but I'll still support them. Like if they have another shirt this year, I'm pretty sure I'll buy it and support them. And my hair, I have it, it looks like a ponytail, but it has like the little clips. And all of my hair couldn't fit in a banana clip, 
which it used to be able to fit in, but wasn't having it today, so I just have those little clips on the side. So I will talk to y'all later. Yeah. And then X is on the other part because we're only here. Yeah. So we have the one fourth of a tortilla, right? And what are we doing with that tortilla? We are, what's the action that's going to take place? Sharing it equally with three other people. So if I share this equally and, I'm, and cut the other pieces of it. Okay. So we could have done it the other way. <laughs> so what we've got here, what did we start off with? One fourth, right? And we shared it equally into how many pieces? And what did we end up with? One twelve. I just made it up to work and it's really hot out here. I'll show y'all what I get done today. I am about to leave. I didn't get too much done, but I do feel like I'm in a pretty good place. This is the pile of stuff that I'm taking home. So I'm going to use this paper to print out my little welcome flip books and I'm going to use these transparencies to pretty much make like a pocket chart and this is what's going to be my background so um, I'll show you how that looks and then this is my job chart that I need to take home and revamp for my second graders. I was able to empty these two manipulative containers and get those over there to my little station spot. Okay, this cabinet was pretty full with stuff, so I did manage to tackle most of this. This cabinet has some more manipulatives, but I just I'm just going to leave these in this box because they're the geo solids for geometry, and I pretty much just use them once during the year and then we kind of refer back to them so this tub is completely full and i'm just going to leave this in here i'll probably move it down to the bottom and then the rest of this is like construction paper manila paper copy paper file folders spirals so i just need to organize it here's some folders back here and binders so i'm just going to stack it up neatly in piles and then down here is a little fun container that our principal gave us just to motivate the students last year and she let us keep it. So here are some smelly stickers, some scented crayons. These are just colored pens. Here goes Mr. Sketch. They're also smelly. Some Mr. Sketch um, neon colored markers. And then some other motivational stickers. So. I normally take this out like if students are doing really good then I'll take it out and let them use it and so they really get excited to use these and MJ heard me so now he's over here <laughs> did you say smelly stickers yes yeah, smelly stickers and then sticker? go ahead get one the smel smelly face and then this is another container and this is from our behavior interventionist and so it's called the quiet island and so I just keep this at a spot in my room 
And as I notice students need it, like I'll notice different students who have different behaviors, uh, students where they might need to rub the towel, they just like different textures. This right here, um, this little beanbag frog, this is a little stress ball, some crayons, and I can put some paper in here. Um, these are things that students can do, like if they're feeling angry, they can wrap a ball of yarn. I don't have yarn in here. They can squeeze an object, scribble. So just different things for students to do. Um, I like to use it when I notice that students have different tapping and rubbing behaviors. Um, sometimes they just need something to do with their hands. And so I notice if I just kind of discreetly give this to them, they'll be able to rub it or um, hold on to this and it just calms them. And so those tapping behaviors stop. Something else that you can do is take the Velcro strips and you can stick them under here in the desk. And so sometimes students, like if that's where they sit, students can just kind of rub it back and forth. So those are some things that teachers can do to try to calm students before a situation gets out of hand or just to uh, give students something to do if they don't know what to do with their hands during class. I started to kind of sort through some of my things. So these are just some items that I have for different activities throughout the year. Um, these are my steno books. So students use this and what I like to do is number it. And so in fifth grade, I had four classes and each student would have a number and they would just use the same book. I would make them write their name at the top and the date. And this was my accountability part. Um, this is just a container that has activities in it. Here's like some things that I can use to help with this scoring assessments. And for some reason last year, I could not find my page protectors, but now I like went and got some and someone else got me some. And now I have this whole thing of page protectors. So that's crazy. So I'm just going to put my things inside of this cabinet down here is what I call the locker room. And so students will have their belongings in these trays. They're upside down right now, but I'll turn them right side up. And then I just got these from the Target dollar spot and I'll write the students' names on them. And they'll keep their extra supplies in there. This is where I'm going to keep my tissues. So I've already started with the few tissues I have. They'll go up there. And then my little casitas or offices, whatever you call them are here. Dry erase boards are here. So I'll find somewhere else to put them. And I just keep my anchor charts in here, which I'm going to have to make a completely different set of anchor charts for second grade. So this is like the little moon phases and the sun has rolled away, but I'll just glue that back on here. I also put up my how do we go home chart. So these are just the six ways that students can go home and so their little transportation cards go right in here and then that's someone's job at the end of the day to take these cards out and pass them out to their peers good morning so most days on my channel you will get the positive upbeat me but today is not really one of those days and i kind of have to pump myself up to get ready for the day it is wednesday so i've had two days back to work and this is kind of why I wish that we went to school in the middle of the week like we did some years back because for students to have to start off on Monday and go five days in a row waking up early when they have probably went to sleep at like four o'clock in the morning during the whole summer and then they have to come back and wake up early and just do work for a whole week and get their brains working on that I think it's just too much like it's too much for me as an adult to just kind of take in five full days right off the bat I feel kind of off today I feel tired I feel emotionally drained some days I really think about all the people in my life that I missed and nothing is special about August 16th that I recall. You know, it's nobody's birthday, it's nobody's anniversary of the day that they died. I don't think, I don't know, but today I'm feeling really, really just blah and sad. 
feel like I want to go back home. Oh, I went to McDonald's. So it took extremely long for me to get my food. The line was long in the drive-thru, so I went inside like I normally do, and I ordered my food. And then like this lady comes and orders behind me. I get my food, and they're like, oh, we're waiting on your coffee. And they bring her her coffee, and I'm like, hold on. Because I was here first. Like, why are you giving her her coffee that looks like it's the same size as mine, but you didn't give me my coffee? It came with my coffee like a minute later and apologized and I was like, oh, you know, oh. that's not a big issue, but you know, you just don't feel, you're not feeling it already. It feels like a big issue. So the other days, I showed y'all a little bit yesterday. The other days have been like breakout sessions where you kind of pick and choose where you want to go and what sounds interesting for you and what you think you'll use in your classroom. So you have choice sessions. And so today, um, my grade level is planning together with our instructional specialist. Our instructional specialist is new this year, so I'm not sure. She seems like the kind of person who would bring candy to something like this, but I'm not too sure. And I just happen to have this bag of candy. I'm just gonna stick this inside of my other bag with all my other stuff in it. When I woke up this morning, my knee was hurting. And I was like, oh no, because when my knee hurts, it means the rain's coming. I had knee surgery when I was 18. Those screws or whatever they put in my knee sure do make my knee hurt when it's when the weather is changing. I just want to show y'all this. This is a sign that says, I love you, mom, that MJ made me when he was three. And I think he had just turned four in this picture. This was at his preschool. So here's my steering wheel and as i'm driving you can't see it but sometimes i like to rest my elbow that's what i do when like i'm kind of down and so then i can see my baby cakes and then i remember that he loves me so just a little tip of something i do to give myself some motivation when i'm down Good morning. I'm feeling my little bun today. It's really, really hot, and I never wear it hot like that. But I like it today. So, this morning, I am not drinking coffee. I have drank coffee four days in a row this week, and I need to just cut myself off. I started to drink some black tea this morning. But then I opted not because mentally I would still be drinking coffee. So I'm just taking water. I have three bottles of water today. So hopefully they last me. I'm pretty much hashtag over this week. Hashtag longest week ever. My job really wants me to use Twitter. I had a Twitter when it first came out, but I just didn't understand it. I understand Instagram but I don't understand Twitter. And I remember trying to post something one time and it took me about 45 minutes just to figure out the hashtags. And then I figured out all the hashtags and realized I didn't attach a picture to it. Then I was mad. I did not get back with y'all yesterday. My day did not get better. Um, at lunchtime, I got a couple of texts from people asking where I was and if I was okay. They give us a, an hour and a half, which is just like, teachers do not need that much time to eat. We only get about five minutes every day, so what am I supposed to do with an hour and a half? Being on a new team, like I feel like we're trying our best to mesh. Like on other teams, when I try to collaborate, it just seems like everybody's like, uh, no, this is how I've done it. I'm going to do it this way. You're fresh out of college. You have no idea what you're talking about. So it's a good thing on this team. I don't feel that way. I've proven myself already, so we don't have that issue. But it's almost like there's a wall that I have to try to knock down. I am determined to not let other people make me have a bad year. I have too much happening in my life right now for other people to get me down. 
I feel better today. I'm sure it has to do with the fact that I went to Bible study last night and so I feel very rejuvenated and energized, motivated, encouraged and all of that. So I'm going to try to bring that same spirit back with me today and tomorrow. And then it'll be Friday. Then I have a whole nother week next week and I will be doing professional development on my own campus. So at least in between like meetings and things I can go in my room and finish that up. I'm not where I want to be with my classroom at the moment. Like last week I asked the person who does the who inputs the home rooms, I was like, hey, you know, I don't see my home room yet. Can you go ahead and upload my home room? Like I was joking with her. I have letters ready to go to say hi to my students and hopefully my students will get the letters for me on like I guess Tuesday or Wednesday and then um, open house is on Thursday and I really wanted to have it out and I feel like eating breakfast but I'm hungry so bought I brought two different types of breakfast bar biscuit type things and I'll just maybe eat both of them maybe eat one um, I'm going to stop rambling and I will maybe see y'all later. Maybe bring y'all to some place with me today. Maybe not. You'll find out soon. You'll only find those words in that quote. So they take the chapters of the textbooks that we have. And put them in the center. All right. So it protects babies. All right. Uh, what's it made of? Uh, is that important? Yes. Could it be made of something else? All right, lots of discussion about that. So, boys and girls, today we're going to talk about the physical properties of con conducting and insulating. And what we're going to do is, you all know that these are put in outlets so that babies don't put screwdrivers in and electrocute themselves. But, so, what we're going to talk so today, I'm going to take this outlet plug. We are really going to be most concerned with classifying the outlet plug as a conductor or an insulator. So I'm going right back to what the physical property is. The verb in this T, if we go back, is classify. So I'm bringing it in. We're going to classify. A paper clip allows the flow of electrical energy, but a wooden pencil blocks the flow of electrical energy. So this butt line opens up their center structures by a whole lot. So anytime you have T charts, called the butt line that work comes from Vesicle Wilder from the Seattle schools. All right. Yay! When they get to the boots on the ground to do that review, you better believe it. They are hot and heavy on every bit of that stuff. So it will inform at that piece for that purpose. But when we're doing it, it is not a test. I, determined that this has to fit. Here's the third grade standard that says I have to do that. And so if you look at this from far away, my second grade teacher. Last year I had this pink. Um, this is a tablecloth from the dollar store. And then I outlined it with this fabric right here. And this is my bulletin board here that I keep like just notes and things to myself on. And it's pretty old and raggedy. Like this part it has even come off because I had it since like my very first time in college back in 2003. I try to cover it up and make it look more neat. So this fabric that I'm using is actually panels. I use this fabric to cover the window seat cushion in my guest room. And it was just left over and it just so happened to be like the perfect size for this bulletin board. So whenever I create things, I just have, I just keep the leftovers in my craft room. And so all I'm doing is gluing it to the back of my bulletin board. Here's how the front looks, and now I'm going to add this little trim to the sides. This is paper. It's really thin tissue paper, so I'm just going to put a couple of drops of glue at different points. I decided to come up to work for about an hour and a half 
because my husband had MJ out running errands. So, he just called me to let me know that they were almost home. And we are going to go find somewhere to eat because I'm tired and I did not cook. I did talk to my dad on the way over here, so that was nice to just have a conversation with him. We hadn't talked in a little bit, so it was nice to catch up with him. I feel like there's only so much professional development I can take. I can always learn new things, but I feel like a lot of the course offerings are very similar. So that's kind of frustrating. I feel like I'd rather be in my room taking care of that than sitting in a class listening to the same things I listened to before. I do know that I'm hungry. I don't know what I'm eating, but I'm very hungry. Some co-workers and I went to go eat at a pho place, is that what it's called, pho? It looks like pho, but it's pho. So I had some Vietnamese food for lunch and that did not stick to me. I ate everything, it's not like they didn't give me a lot. It was, you know, a pretty decent amount of food, but I was hungry, and now I'm hungry again. That was like six hours ago, so, you know, I should be hungry. I will see y'all tomorrow. Guys, briefly, my date is going very well. I've been um, sitting in a few sessions with some of my schoolmates, and now I'm headed for lunch to Chick-fil-A with my family, so I'm going to meet MJ and my husband at Chick-fil-A, and then I will be back for another few hours, and then I'll be done for the day. And so my first week for professional development has gone pretty well. I am feeling really upbeat and rested today. I think I went to sleep a little earlier last night, but I feel really good right now. I've decided not to go to work this evening. I've been three days out of five this week and I feel like that's enough. And I feel like I'm in a better position this year than I've been previously. And then next week I do have time in my room. So I'll just make sure that I get to work early and spend as much time as I can because Meet the Teacher is on Thursday. And I gave my letters to my students to my husband this morning. It's like a welcome letter light screen so I will talk to y'all later. MJ! We're here at Chick-fil-A. So they joined me. So it's MJ, my hubby. That was my hubby fan. So we'll see y'all later. Bye. 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 I'm sitting in my driveway right now and I just made it home from my first week of professional development and I just want to just reflect a little I feel like earlier this week I was kind of in good spirits I think I was nervous and now Friday I'm really energized and ready for the weekend next week I have a, some more professional development but it will be more on my campus and not really like out at these other locations with other people that will just be with my school and my teammates some takeaways for the week are that I really want to make sure that my classroom is really student centered and that I, I'm not working harder than the students are working and I took some really good professional developments last year that I remember but I didn't really get an opportunity to utilize them because there was so much more going on but this year I'm going to make sure that my like everything is student driven and I did have someone ask me and I'm sure I'll say this in a future video when I do my room tour but someone asked about my green screen in my room and that is because I'm going to have some type of vlog or podcast or something it's not going to be something that I share on YouTube it'll just be for my the parents and the families of the students that I teach but it's going to be student led so my students are going to be able to document what we do in class and each week I send home a weekly email telling my parents what we did for the week and letting them know what is going to happen like in the upcoming weeks and so I'm going to still have that email but the email is going to be more of a video that the students produce so I'll probably record different things and take pictures of different things and I'll let my students sit in front of the green screen and just have students talk about the previous day So my green screen is just so that I can record and like if I want to put something in the background so that I can you know change the background as needed my last session was about like learning what pushes your buttons and like trigger thing emotional triggers and I don't have things that like make me angry many things that make me angry except for disrespect like when students and staff and just team members just disrespectful people period but I also felt like I have a lot of different things that affect me 
in some type of emotional way like when students think about immoral things or speak about immoral things and don't know enough about academics like that is a trigger but it's more of a sad trigger like I'm so sad that this student knows about this this and this but can't add and subtract or like when students are apathetic and they like really don't care that upsets me because like there's so much going on going on in the world how can you not care or when I try to pump students up so much and they're like the negative Nancy's you know they just are so sad all the time like that makes me sad that so many students can't think of just one positive thing in their lives to appreciate and they're focusing on just you know I don't know how to add so I can't do anything in life that's sad too something that is has kind of been a frustration is just working with the new team because being put in this new second grade position and just listening to the comments from other people and how happy people have been and told me like how I'm going to just make this big difference in the new team that I'm working alongside has been overwhelming for me and I feel like I just acknowledge that. I feel like I am a leader, a lot of people tell me that, but I feel like a lot of weight has been put on me, a lot of pressure and even more so than with the students because for me when students aren't successful sometimes that makes me feel like I'm not a successful teacher even though I know that's not the case but then going to a team that has been kind of needing help for a long time and for so many different people who I haven't worked with personally to tell me like I'm so happy you're going to that grade level because you're going to be able to change the team and all of that has been overwhelming and kind of saddening and a lot of pressure has been put on me and I've put it on myself too so just to talk out my feelings with other people that work at the school I work at and for them to say like that's not something that you can take on like yes you're going to share your ideas and everything like that but you are just another human some people don't want to change some people you know there's just set in their ways and so I can't change other adults I can try to help offer ideas but I can't change anybody who doesn't want to change so that was a good moment for me to just talk out my feelings and all of that so the next time you see me will be probably on Monday and that will be the Monday before school starts I really hope that y'all enjoyed this video and if y'all want to know some more things about my classroom what's going on make sure you stay tuned because I will be sharing my class tour thank y'all so much for watching and I will talk to y'all soon bye